Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in brief about the electrochemical sensors. So, sensor means it is a device which is used to detect physical or chemical change and to produce electrical signal. So, sensor easily detects physical or chemical change and that will be produced in the form of an electrical signal. So, Coming to the electrochemical sensor, it is a device used to produce electrical signal related to the sample under investigation. Coming to the classification of electrochemical sensors, they can be classified into three categories namely potentiometric sensors, conductometric sensors and amperometric sensors. Potentiometric sensors are highly useful to measure the potential of analyte solution. Conductometric sensors are mainly used to measure the conductance. Whereas, amperometric sensors are used to measure the current. So, moving to the potentiometric sensors, especially the analyte, that means the test solution concentration can be determined simply by measuring the potential difference between the working electrode and the reference electrode. So, for the better understanding, let us see the construction of a potentiometric sensor. A potentiometric sensor generally consists of two electrodes. One of the electrode is called as working electrode and the other electrode is called as the reference electrode. Generally, the working electrode is ion selective electrode. So, which ion we are supposed to detect depending upon that ion, we have to select ion selective electrode. For example, if we want to measure the pH of the solution, pH means negative logarithm of H plus ion concentration. So, directly if we measure H plus ion concentration, it gives the pH of the solution. In that case, here the ion selective electrode should be glass electrode. So, generally glass electrode is used to measure H plus ion concentration. So, coming to the potentiometric sensor, it consists of two electrodes. One is working electrode, other one is reference electrode. Generally, working electrode is an ion selective electrode. These two electrodes are connected through the potentiometer and thus, this potentiometer is capable of measuring the potential difference between the working electrode and the reference electrode, thereby giving the concentration of the test to solution under investigation. Potentiometric sensors can be used to measure glucose in blood samples or urea in biological samples. In general, the glucose present in the blood sample undergoes oxidation in the presence of glucose oxidized enzyme and gets converted into gluconic acid and hydrogen peroxide. This hydrogen peroxide undergoes dissociation to give H plus ions with the liberation of electrons and the oxygen gas. So, once we measure the concentration of H plus ions, then it is possible to measure the glucose concentration in the blood. And hence, for this analysis, here the glass electrode is used as ion selective electrode. Similarly, urea in biological samples can be estimated. So, initially urea present in the biological samples undergoes hydrolysis and it results in the formation of ammonium ion and bicarbonate. So, here once if we measure the concentration of ammonium ion, then it is possible to know the concentration of urea in the biological samples. For that purpose, ammonium ion selective electrode is used. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.